Hey, hey, Tom here. I'm going to show you how to set up a dashboard inside of Base Dash for Superbase, which is one of our favorite products. We use it for all of our demo data here at Base Dash. I'm going to show you how to connect it, set up a dashboard to track some KPIs, some adoption stats, that kind of stuff, and also create a dashboard so that you can look at a specific user uh, within your application. So let's get started. I've got a uh, the, the database already hooked up here. You can see the graphic here that indicates that it's set up. Here's the schema for Doc Hunt. It's very basic. We've got users, docs, apps. Basically, this is an app that allows you to share the items in your doc. It's like a, a social media little, little microsite that we built. And after you connect your data, you just go ahead and hit new dashboard here. It'll take you to the new dashboard and I'll show this uh, created dashboard called KPIs. Okay, KPIs. So the first KPI that I think is uh, really easy to track is we want to so show user signups over time. Another KPI I might want to create would be how many users do I have total? Can't type today. And then another chart I might want to create would be how many apps have been added to my so I'm tracking user signups over time the total number of users who have signed up for doc hunt and the number of apps that have been added to doc hunt so that's pretty cool all right some other charts I might want to do would be like uh, show me the rank of top apps by the number times they are in a doc um, and then maybe show me the rank of users by number of right so I'm, I'm showing some kind of ranking system here I've got a rank of top apps I'm just gonna resize this one over move this there and it's gonna go through we used Twitter off for this demo app and so we have the number of Twitter followers when people signed up all right, so the number one app by Doc Presence is Google Chrome, followed closely by Visual Studio Code, which is pretty interesting. And then here are the top users of the app. So now what I can do is I can maybe just rearrange these. Maybe I want these two primary metrics a little bit smaller. I'll move this over here. Let's rearrange this. User signups over time would be our primary metric. And there we go. If I want to change this to a different type of chart, I can go from line to a time bar chart, which would be an interesting way of doing it. And then what we also did was we added these variables to the top, uh, or to the query. They're up here at the top. I can change the date range to show different intervals and different groupings. So maybe when I see user signups by time, uh, grouped daily, which is pretty interesting. Now, if there's some uh, more advanced stuff you want to do, you can also expand every single one of these charts full screen, and you can see the full chat history over on the left-hand side. You can roll back to previous versions, and you can also edit the query uh, uh, straight here in the SQL editor. You've got your full schema over here on the side, so you can inspect and copy uh, different values and put them into your query. Um, and also, you can add variables to your query if you want to. On the topic of variables, I'm going to create another dashboard. This one I'm going to call app details. So I want to see specific details about an app. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be a little bit open-ended here. Show me the details of an app. So what Base Dash is going to do is it's going to look at this and say, is there a table that matches this? And can I generate a variable that matches that app so that I can then select an app from a pick list. Now, just give it a second. All right, so in this case, it picked this app, which is a pretty, uh, I guess it did it alphabetically, which is interesting, but you can now see this app name at the top here. We've got a lot of different apps that have been added, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this and make it so that my default value is base dash. Save this, and then here I can actually search for base dash here all right so that's the details of the app that someone has added uh, to the tool and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show show me the icon of the app show me the people who have this app in their doc 
show me the count of the number of times this app has been docked. Okay, so I've got the icon up here. I'm going to create like basically a profile view of this entity. Show the, the number of times this app has been docked. Users with the app, so I'll bring that down. I can see who has the app in their dock. There's me. And then the count of the number of times this app has been docked. I'll put that up here as like a, a metric while it's generating. I basically want the number of times that it's docked. So there you go. And I can switch it to something else. Like let's say I'm looking at Figma. I can do that and then it'll update to show Figma has been docked 908 times and here's all the people who are there. And that's pretty straightforward. So the nice thing about dashboards like this is you can bring in any data that you have. We have obviously just one uh, Superbase database, but if you wanted to build on top of it, you could also bring in Stripe data to base dash. And in addition to your Superbase data, you could start to branch everything together and you could show invoices here. You could show the sales over time. You could show sentry errors over time. You could bring in, basically we have 600 different connection types. So if you go to uh, data sources here, and add a data source, you can start to bring in data from all sorts of different services, like Posthog if you're tracking event data or Sentry, or if you're using uh, different marketing platforms, like uh, here's all the event platforms, but if you're using a lot of marketing different platforms, like Active Campaign or different uh, emailing services, then you can bring that data into Base Dash and actually start to understand the entire picture of your data just by describing things with natural language. Anyway, I'm excited to see what you build. Let us know if you have any questions, and that's all for today. See ya.